Hi there, my name is Derer and I'm Application Development Scientist at Avantium. Today, I'm going to show you a practical example how we develop our bio polyethylene teraphthalate by using our plant-based MEG that we produce by our Ray technology. Polyethylene teraphthalate, or PET, is one of the most common thermoplastic polymer resin from the polyester family. It's used, it forms when we react monoethylene glycol, or MEG, with terephthalic acid, or TPA, by using different catalysis. We are able to make PET. PET has many applications, ranging from making paddles for soft drinks and for water, or for making fibers for textile, or for making films for packaging applications. Additionally, PET can be used for the wide variety of specialty applications. In our application development process of this polyethylene teraphthalate, or PET, we have used two processing techniques. The first technique is the injection molding, and the second technique is the compression molding. For the injection molding, it's a technique used for making different objects. Where we use the injection machine, it melts the PET in the melting parallel, and then by using the exact parameters, the temperature and the pressure and the timing, we are able to inject this molten polymer to the mold where it solidifies inside the mold and we will be able to create two kinds of objects for our development process. We produced tensile pars or T-bone objects and we produced plex one millimeter with one millimeter. The tensile pars, we use them for the characterization to evaluate the mechanical performance of our produced pet while the plex, we use them also to evaluate the thermal behavior and to evaluate the color and to evaluate different parameters for our produced PET and to compare it with the commercial fossil PET. The second technique is the compression molding where we use pressure and temperature by putting a specific amount of polyethylene teraphthalate inside the specific molds and by applying the pressure and the temperature, we are able to get different objects. And for our development case, we were able to produce discs to have it further for the rheology evaluation. At the end, we can conclude that the polyethylene teraphthalate produced with our Ray MEG is a good candidate for replacing the fossil based MEG in the PET polymerization and making this for bottle applications and fibers and textiles and future work will be aiming on development and finding validation in the product for our bio polyethylene teraphthalite. Thank you and goodbye.